All right, in this video, we're going to do a very interesting math problem. We're going to take the limit as x approaches one of ln x over uh, x minus one, and we're going to do it using uh, infinite series. Okay, so you can do this using L'Hopital's rule as well, uh, and it's very, very easy. But we're gonna do it um, the hard way using uh, infinite series. So let's start by finding the Taylor series for the natural log of x uh, centered uh, at one. So basically, uh, what is that going to look like? So f of x, if f of x is going to be the series representation for L and x, it should be the sum as n runs uh, from zero to infinity. Uh, and it's going to be the nth derivative evaluated uh, at 1 over n factorial times x minus 1 to the n. So that's going to be the formula. Uh, these are going to be the coefficients. These are your a sub n's. Uh, and then the series is centered about uh, x minus 1. So we just need to figure out uh, some derivatives and stuff here. So let's just start with uh, the 0th derivative, which is just f of x equals ln x. And then the first derivative uh, is going to be uh, 1 over x. And then the second derivative uh, is going to be negative 1 over x squared. All right, now let's just go ahead and plug in uh, the values of 1 for each of these. So f of 1 is the natural log of 1, which is 0. f prime of 1 is just going to be 1 over 1, which is 1. And f double prime of 1 is going to be negative 1. All right, so now let's just go ahead and, and plug everything into the formula. So f of x is equal to, so the, the first term is zero. Uh, this, this is gonna be x minus one to the zero, so it's just gonna be one. And then um, we know that a sub zero, well, well we know that f of one is zero, so all, all that's gonna go away. So that's, that's gone because of this. So then we're at the next term, uh, which would be the, the first derivative valued at 1 over 1 factorial. So it'll be 1 over 1 factorial, like this. And then x minus 1 to the first power. And then we're going to the next term, which is negative, right? Because this is going to be negative, and then it's uh, over 2 factorial. This would be x minus 1 uh, squared. And the next one should be plus, et cetera. It probably alternates. Uh, along those lines. And then so now we can write this. So f of x, this is really ln x, right? This is x minus 1 minus 1 half x minus 1 squared plus dot dot dot. So now let's go back to that limit. So we have the limit as x approaches 1 of the natural log of x over x minus 1 and if you're watching this and you're thinking, oh, it's such an easier way to do it. I know there is. I know. I'll, I'll do it at the end. I know it's really easy. I just wanted to do it doing series, <laughs> uh, using series. So this is the limit. Uh, as x approaches 1, I just thought it'd be cool to do it a different way, you know. Uh, so we have this infinite sum in the numerator. This is pretty cool, right? Infinite sum inside a limit. It's kind of fun. And then so down here we have uh, just x minus 1. My handwriting is falling apart. I don't know what happened there. Basically, you're going to lose all these copies of x minus 1. This is the limit as x approaches 1. It's going to be x minus 1 over x minus 1 is just 1 minus then 1 half x minus 1 and then plus. The next one's going to be a, an x minus 1 squared, etc. So everything's going to be 0. And you're just going to get 1. So this is 1 minus 0, which is equal to 1. So that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it, let me just show you really quick because um, I feel like I should. This is ln x over x minus 1. So if you were just to plug in 1, you would get the natural log of 1 over 1 minus 1, which is 0. So you just get 0 over 0. Uh, so whenever you have a form like this inside a limit expression, it's called a this is a specific type of indeterminate form that allows you to use something called L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule says now that you just take the derivative of the numerator, which is 1 over x, and then the derivative of the denominator, which is just 1. So this is the limit as x approaches 1 of 1 over x 
plug in one, you get one over one, so you just get one. So the answer is one. So much easier than uh, everything I did here with series. Um, so yeah, so my answer is not, not the best answer, but uh, still, hopefully you've learned some mathematics. Good luck.